Hi, I'm Shane. And I'm Sean, and today we're at Kennesaw Mountain, Georgia for the Kling Connection. Let's check it out. Welcome to the Kling Connection. Hey, this is Sean Kling with the Kling Connection, and we're out today at Kennesaw Mountain Battlefield in Georgia, touring this gorgeous battlefield. Although the preservation isn't 100% what it should be, the battlefield itself is amazing. We're gonna be walking around, Shana and myself checking everything out. There's a lot of hiking trails. Unfortunately, won't be doing too much of that, but we will be checking out the sites, the monuments, and the artillery pieces, as well as the museum today. Let's check it out. So we were driving into the Kennesaw battlefield here and the mountains are beautiful. The scenic area is gorgeous. We saw some beautiful homes and lots of people out walking, taking their dogs out in the morning, some people out for their morning jogs. This area right here, there's some parking. We're gonna walk around here a little bit. We're gonna get back in the car and drive to another parking area and see some of the monuments there. So for right now, this area um, has some monuments here, but you can see there's some beautiful landscape. It's a little chilly, but it's just gorgeous this morning. We're gonna be looking around a little bit more, and so we'll do some more video as we go along. I want you to imagine it's the last year of the American Civil War, 1864. General William Tecumseh Sherman has left the North Tennessee and is now driving through Georgia with the gates of Atlanta at his grasp. He's stalled by Confederate forces here at Kennesaw Mountain. Now, if you've ever been to Kennesaw, everything is flat around here except for this one big mountain. It's crazy. And the Union forces have to try to jump up this thing to fight the Confederates. And let me tell you what, if you walk up these hills, you'll see how hard it is. We've got modern shoes with modern cleatage. These guys were wearing what they called brogans or gunboats. They were slick shoes. The most that they had on the bottom was a maybe a horseshoe or maybe some hobnails, and that is it. So Sherman's troops are gonna try to march up this hill to fight the Confederate forces here. And then once they get past Kennesaw, the goal is then Marietta and then Atlanta, and eventually Savannah. displays here at the Kennesaw Mountain Military Museum are phenomenal. They have a lot of equipment, they have a lot of artillery pieces, weapons, uniforms, maps. The rangers here were especially helpful. I talked to the rangers and the staff. They are amazing. You gotta come down and check this place out. This museum will blow your mind.
Confederate earthworks here had these cannons are well hidden and camouflaged so that the Union Army came up and they didn't know what was hitting them when they came to try to take most division was here, stationed in this general vicinity. And this is the original earthworks to that. These were types of guns that the Confederacy would have used, a number of captured artillery pieces from the beginning of the war, or even stuff that they've made on their own at places like the Tredegar Ironworks in Richmond or various other locations. Kennesaw Mountain has some beautiful walking trails. We've seen some people out for long runs, taking their dogs out for their morning walks. We're here at the Illinois uh, Monument, which is behind us. We just took some video. Beautiful morning here. Some dogs out for their morning walks. Um, it's a little chilly, but it's beautiful. We are enjoying our day. The monument behind me was dedicated on the 50th anniversary of the battle here, four years before the start of the First World War on June 27th, 1914 by the state of Illinois in de dedication to the, its soldiers and sons that died at this battle. It's a beautiful monument, although it's not the size of like the thing you would see at Gettysburg. It is very breathtaking. The view here is very breathtaking and it is a very kind of a solemn thing looking at this hill and figuring, how did these guys charge up this thing? And we're going to go over to the Unknown Soldier, tomb up the Unknown Soldier next. So we're going to get some video over there. All throughout these woods are the remnants of Confederate trenches that were built 160 years ago in June 1864. Amazing. Kennesaw Mountain, we came upon the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. So I don't really know much about how this happens, but apparently the soldiers that are found dead here are moved to a cemetery, but they make a, a monument here and you can see the headstone says Unknown U.S. Soldier. It's so quiet. They have a little flat here. It's very serene and it makes you think about what this would have been like, you know, back in 1864 when all these soldiers were fighting. So the pros of this battlefield definitely outnumber the cons. We have a great preserved battlefield, at least on the mountain. When you get off the mountain, you gotta watch out. There's a lot of urban sprawl, but the battlefield itself is great. Again, I'm spoiled because I did grow up near Gettysburg. So, you know, no battlefield's gonna top that. The other uh, pros you have is there's a lot of original Confederate earthworks. The placards are really easy to read. The Rangers and their staff were immensely helpful and really good people. So if you get a chance, go in and talk to them at the visitor center. They'll gladly help you out. As far as the upkeep of the battlefield, it's very well upkept. There's a lot of people that do a lot of hiking here. So you have a bunch of different people that are either in history mode or in kind of like, you know, being out in nature and just getting out and getting some fresh air. It's definitely worth the trip here to Kennesaw. And I would definitely recommend it to anybody that's a history person. Here at Kennesaw Mountain, so a couple things that we found maybe you want to be aware of. We're here on a Saturday. The parking was crazy busy, and you do have to pay a $5 fee, and they will ticket you if you don't pay. Put your little tag on your dashboard. Um, some parts of the battlefield and the area that you might want to walk in, you have to drive to. So be prepared to maybe get in and out of your car 
but your $5 parking fee will pay for all of those different areas that you walk in. Once you get on the trail, if you decide to take a walk, um, be a little aware of the slip hazards. Uh, some of the areas here have some leaves that might be a little bit slippery, so just be aware that you might want to have on some good hiking boots or some seekers and be, be careful on the, the walking trails here. Otherwise, really wonderful area. Take in sights and enjoy the ride.